What's going on guys, I'm Cosmo, welcome back to BeamNG and Automation with Butch. If you're enjoying this series, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Definitely go and check out Butch, he makes other neat solo content. But today, we're doing the Mystery Engine Mystery Car Challenge, and what we mean by that is... I'm going to build an engine, Butch is going to build a car, but we are not going to know what the other one ended up being like until it's time to mate the engine to the car. This is arguably going to be a very silly result, and knowing Butch, I know he built something really good, and I'm struggling, you know, I'm struggling with the intrusive thoughts to build something really bad, just to really, uh, really screw us over here. I actually don't know if he built, like, an off-road car, you know, like a street car. I think whatever Butch built, a tractor engine is certainly going to be a curveball. So let's try and mimic some kind of tractor engine here. I'm looking at the specs of a John Deere 164 which apparently comes in a diesel and gasoline configuration and that is good for us because uh well we i don't think we have diesel capability in this game now i was gonna start pulling the specs off of this sheet and then i found this information so this engine actually came in a john deere 302 or a 302a it is a 2.7 liter three cylinder diesel or gasoline and i think this is perfect for pulling specs off so i'm going to do just that uh, let's let's get to it. It's not really telling me materials and frankly, I'm not really particularly interested in the materials I just need to know the specs so that I know what I'm doing now It is an inline three. We are gonna go with cast iron might as well We're not gonna be putting out a whole lot of power I mean this thing what puts out like 50 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque uh, This is gonna be silly. This is gonna be very silly. All right, so four hour bore we have 102, and for our stroke, uh, we have 110, which should give us 2.7 liters. Perfect. Now, I do believe this is a pushrod engine, so uh, we're going to go with pushrod, and for the head material, I suppose we can go aluminum. Why not? Quality, 5. Actually, let's go back. Somebody really didn't like that I was pressing the plus and minus buttons. This is for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now we are on to the crank and we're gonna go with some decent materials. Why not? Uh, you know, some maximum torque stuff. For con rods, we can go with forged heavy, even though we probably don't need them. And let's throw some forged heavy pistons on there as well. Just to really make this thing like luggy, you know, and run really rough. Everything is gonna be heavy. All the moving parts like the con rods and pistons are just gonna be super heavy. And uh, yeah, this thing, uh, this thing is gonna be bad. Okay, now for the balancing mass, I guess we'll throw on a harmonic dampener, but let's actually amp that up. We'll do like seven kilo, we'll do eight kilograms. Now for the compression, let's see what our specs are saying. Huh? Wow, it is surprisingly hard to find information on these engines. I, I picked a very obscure engine to go off of here, but that's okay, because we're just going to make things up on the spot. We're just going to go with 10 to 1 for now. Why not? We'll adjust the cam profile and the springs and lifters later. No VVT, no VVL. RPM limit is going to be 3,500, extremely low, because, you know, hashtag tractor life. And we're going to go with naturally aspirated. I don't believe... This engine uh, was turboed, which makes my life easier, that's for sure. I think these might have had fuel injection. I really don't know. It's so hard to find any sort of information. I almost wonder if it's like mechanical fuel injection and we're just gonna send it with that, you know? Why not? For the manifold, let's see uh, what the jankiest thing we can find is. I need like a cast iron intake manifold. Come on, guys. That looks to be just like a single manifold. So it would be something like... All right, all right, pause. Future Cosmo here trying to figure out what the heck past Cosmo did. And I think I strayed simply because I looked at this photo and I mistook the orange, I guess, manifold, you would call it, uh, for the exhaust manifold and the one above it for the intake manifold when it's actually flipped the opposite way around. My bad. I did end up making some, uh, you know, wrong choices based on that assumption, uh, but, you know, all is well that ends well, so hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. I can't believe I'm legitimately looking up, like, exhaust gasket sizes 
for this engine to try and determine like what manifold size I need, what exhaust size I need. Uh, but really, I think the effect is still going to be here. So it's not that important uh, what manifold size we use. You know, I think we can just leave it at, uh, you know, 50, maybe even just jack it up to like 60 or something for now. Uh, let's do 55. And then for fuel, uh, let's just pick something awful. Just some low quality 85. Why not? Uh, now for headers, we're going to go with some compact cast headers. Very good. Oh my goodness. And uh, for header size, I suppose we'll do 60. I So I looked it up and I think it's roughly 60 millimeters. You know, um, it could be, I could be way wrong is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but we're going to go with 60. We're going to go with, uh, with a single exhaust. Exhaust size will also be around 60. Sure, 63.5. And we are just not sending it with any sort of mufflers. Oh my goodness. The engine's reliability is too low to sell. The engine is too unbalanced and cannot run. Try reducing the rotating mass. Listen, I can do that. I can do that. That's that's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, this is awful. Let's improve the con rods, okay? There you go. Titanium con rods. Very good. I mean, I did say I want to build a broken engine, right? Dude, I did say that. It's actually kind of crazy that it's failing at such low RPM. To be fair, though, this engine is supposed to make at 2,500 RPM. It's supposed to make, you know, 50 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque. And we're pretty much doing that at around 2,000 RPM, which is pretty good um so maybe we should just keep going with this let's set the rpm limit to maybe something lower go to like 2700 i would say and then we can increase uh the balancing mass of course now i do want my curves to be a little more flat you know I've, i feel like a tractor curve needs to be more flat at least you know from everything i've seen okay well i've adjusted some things i once again don't know what i'm doing when it comes to tractor engines and i picked a very obscure one so information on it is hard to find but it seems like uh you know it wants me to use a very high uh harmonic balancing mass which is very interesting it like doesn't even want to run until it's 15.6 kilograms at which point it's still failing, you know? So uh, it does not want to be, uh, you know, it wants to be pretty much maxed out from what I've been, what I've been seeing. There you go. It's definitely happy there, but we'll leave it at 25.5. And that is with forged heavy con rods and cast pistons, which like, I understand, you know, I can go forged light uh, con rods and likely drop my harmonic balancing mass. There you go. Perfect. But, uh, you know, now it's going to be less sluggish and I want this thing to be more sluggish. So we're going to go with uh, with Forged Heavy again. I am making quite a bit of power. The horsepower is quite linear. The torque is not as flat as I want it to be, but that's okay. Now, oddly enough on this thing, I can actually go up to a 16 to 1 compression ratio um, and then also just lean it the heck out in the fuel map. And it, I don't know, it still looks pretty decent and it's probably going to be even more jank now. So fine by me. Really curious to see how it's going to run. But I think going forward, I might actually build an engine and then start messing with uh, individual values just to sort of teach myself, you know, how certain things affect what. Because even though I may have some theoretical understanding, uh, I don't really know how, you know, these things work in practice. So... It would be cool to see, you know, totally identical engines, but completely different cam profiles and just feel it out. We can advance the timing a little bit likely because it seems like it's telling me I have retarded timing, but I've never had the timing adjustment actually like do anything weirdly enough. So you know what? I mean, we're just gonna, we're just gonna set it back to zero. I adjust timing on like my motorcycles and stuff all the time. No clue what it actually does in this game for some reason. I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong ground. Graphs, okay oh boy i got a lot to learn guys i've uh, i've been sick but i just i really want to get back into learning this stuff there's a lot to learn as well so please bear with me uh feel free to roast me in the comments you know as always but uh provide some uh some useful piece of information with your roast anyway it looks pretty good it looks like a good i mean it looks like an engine let's just test it let's do a pull I mean, it sort of sounds like a tractor engine, I think. 
Let's try and make it a little bit more powerful. And like, I know I keep bouncing back between making this horrible and giving it like, you know, some decent power, but I also just don't want to disappoint Butch, you know? I don't want Butch to think I'm a joke. I think I'm gonna drop down the manifold size. Uh, maybe not too much, but drop it down to like a 25. Maybe let's give it like a more proper fuel map as well. This is not silly. <laughs> 69, that works for me. And I think this thing is basically good to go, guys. There's not a whole lot to it. It's probably gonna sound different in Beeman G as well. What is going on here? What the heck? Let's do a pull. Oh yeah, no, we're good. We're good. What's going on with my flow here? Apparently wanted my headers to be a little bit bigger. Huh, and interestingly enough, the intake manifold size that I picked is actually what it seems to be happy with. So I'm gonna send it, guys. Really curious to see what Butch thinks of all this. <laughs> it's so poppy and bangy. All right, let's check out the overall specs. The red line of this inline three 2.7 liter is 3000 RPM. It's got a compression ratio of 10 to one. Uh, it is naturally aspirated with multipoint EF5. Throttle response, I, I guarantee is gonna be awful. The noise, yes. Fuel economy, yes. Reliability is over 100%, clearly. So, uh, I mean, this thing is bulletproof. Only weighs like, you know, I mean, it's under 300 pounds, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, no, it that all looks great. Let's send it. All right, dude, I am uh, very scared for our combination of engines and vehicles here. I feel like you might have a better idea of how much nonsense this will be because you're the one that put them together, but I honestly have no clue what you built, so. <laughs> yeah, but see, I also didn't really look at your engine when I put it together, so I have no clue. <laughs> Fair. The, the nonsense very much uh, depends upon that. Well, I knew that you would most certainly build something good, so I tried to not. <laughs> uh oh. I guess let's see what happened. I don't know. Shall we both uh, pull it up? Yep, let's do it. Uh, what am I looking for? It's oh called my... Mashup. Oh my god. Are you kidding <laughs> me? A freaking box truck. Whoa. Okay, this actually didn't work out that weirdly, dude. Let me know if uh, the graphics on the side of the truck. Oh my god, totally legit moving code 13k. I love it. I think I have an importing issue on my uh, on my truck, but your truck, I can see delivery just fine. That is fantastic. I love it, dude. Okay, well, you'll be pleased to know that I built a three-cylinder tractor engine. <laughs> which apparently isn't too far off from what this thing is meant for, I think. So let's, I guess let's give it a try. Yeah, let's uh, start this up. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, this is, dude, this is too funny. Oh God, wow. I can't believe that like, it actually ended up kind of working out. It, it, it's surprisingly... Like, we're, we're doing it. We're moving. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. So... I also did not, after importing your engine, I did not touch anything with the uh, transmission or anything. Wow, like that. So dude. This is exactly, and I had it whenever I built this for a test. I put in a large, fairly powerful engine just to uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, make sure it could handle it, something big if you want that route. Oh my goodness. I mean, it gets to like, uh, 1950s highway speeds. Great. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so my audience knows the specs, but uh, yours doesn't. No, not at all. It's a 2.7 liter uh, three cylinder that is actually based off a John Deere engine. Uh, that came both in diesel and gasoline configurations. Uh, this one specifically, I think, puts out like 90 horsepower and 180 <laughs> foot-pounds of torque at maximum RPM. So it's uh, it's pretty chonky. It's a tractor engine. <laughs> that's, dude, that's hilarious. And like, it has torque. It has torque to move this thing. Whenever you said uh, I3, my first thought was like, oh, is this thing even gonna start? <laughs> when I was making this, I had some grand plans. Yeah. I actually made two versions of this. If you notice, this was called the mashup closed. That's right. I had one that the rear door was open and I had a bunch of motorcycles and bicycles in the oh, back that's awesome. that I had made loose objects. That's wicked. It made my computer cry. Oh no. Oh, nice. Now I have delivery. Perfect. 
Dude, this is wicked. I love it. While we're, you know, going up this hill at uh, fantastically fast speeds, we should think of what challenges we should make these things do. I have one in mind since I, whenever I was building this. Um, it involves going over oh to the Crash Heart 2.0 map. Oh, I, I put You're this in right. manual. You, you got it downshift, bro. You got it downshift. <laughs> Uh, that, that was rough. That was <laughs> rough. I'm like, I don't want to interrupt them, but like, we're both running out of speed here, so. <laughs> uh, no, uh, but there is a versus track in the Crash Hard 2.0 map, which is a little bit of off roady, bumpy road, I should say, more than off road. Dude, I'm down. And I figured, you know, if we got this totally legit moving company. People want to be able to see how how good we can drive. How totally and, you know, legit we elements. can move their junk. Yeah, I agree. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, that's um, we almost did not make it up that hill. I am I'm severely concerned about our performance going forward. But hey, let's do it. Alrighty. <laughs> this thing sounds so tractory, dude. That's what I was sitting there saying. What could I build that would be good no matter what engine he builds? Right. And I saw the uh, the box truck and I'm like, yep, yep, that's the uh, that's the move, I think. <laughs> so see, I had a similar trade of thought, except that was like, what is a universally terrible engine that I could build that will guaranteed suck for whatever it is that Butch built? Absolutely perfect. How do you feel, Bush? How do you feel about this? <laughs> well, so, yeah, this is rear-wheel drive with an open diff. So, I did take my test vehicle on here, but with a very different engine. Okay. And it worked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds but, uh, good. Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, interesting going on I'm this. I'm excited. Is there uh Oh, sick. I'm doing this first person, bro. I don't know about you, but... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll start in first person. We'll see if I uh, stay in first person. All right, all right perfect. Count all us right. down. Three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness. Go, go. Oh, Jeebus. Already massive potholes. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is a big smack. All right. Oh, oh, um, um, okay. I don't think first person is gonna work out, bro. <laughs> I think we're. Gonna... Uh, you wanna go back and restart? Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. I'll, I'll flip myself over. I got this. I'm I good. stopped to look at you, and uh, now I don't know if I can flip over. Oh, gosh. Keep going. Wait, okay, what happened? Go. I got some controller traction. unplugged. That is a lie. Oh, no. That is a that is a filthy lie. Perfect. Uh... I'm off again. I definitely did not have the speed I needed for that. <laughs> Go fast. Go fast. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Here, man, I'll give you a bit of a push. <laughs> it's not going to help. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gee. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to go around. Like, there's a perfectly good flat area on the left side, and uh, we're just going to utilize. Yo, you made it? YouTuber reset. YouTuber reset. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Go backwards. Okay. Don't approach this hill in second gear. Dude, I yeah. don't even know if I can make it past here. I'm <laughs> stuck. I'm open different so hard right now. Okay, I'm just gonna back out. This thing is really good at backing up. Oh, it can make it up the steps in first gear. That tractor torque, putting in work. Come on, just go, go, go. Are you uh, kidding you... me, dude? This thing sucks. I'm just gonna, just gonna <laughs> do a go. little, uh, I'm just gonna do a little, uh, you know, a little- Hand of God. Exactly. In the spot on the other side of that. <laughs> no. I refuse. We're good. Oh, See, don't worry. Your, your stuff is in good hands with, uh... Yeah, which, with totally uh, legit Cosmo, moving totally yeah. company. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just, Everything uh, is fine. Full speed, go first gear, full speed. Full, first gear, full speed, he said. Okay. Oh, I was second gear. Oh, now it's first. Okay, go. Go. Oh, no, go, 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 go. That's amazing. All right, here we go. Again. Again. Bro, is your truck broken or something? What is this? We're racing. I wanted to be competitive. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I'm not waiting. Listen, yeah. I always get reamed out in my videos whenever I wait for my competitors because I try to be nice. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. That was pretty good, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is this, uh... Yeah, no, this is good. This is, this is good. Oh, my God. Oh, you made it. it. I mean, yeah, I think we didn't have anything needed. fragile in the back of this truck. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I th yeah, th don't worry. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, um, yeah, definitely did not have the speed for uh, the next one. 
No. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh. Dude, this thing totally still runs. <laughs> Guaranteed this thing still runs. Let me just tow it out. This is fine. And I'll tow you out too, dude. Don't worry. You'll be f there you go. There you go. Good tow job. Uh. This is fine. Everybody's stuff is safe. Everything is fine. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is fine. This is totally normal. This is this is totally fine. The back of that thing bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bouncy. Okay, I'm gonna reset because I'm dragging like polygons <laughs> underneath myself. <laughs> Go for it, because I had accidentally reset. Fair oh, enough. Can we make it? Can we make it? First gear. Oh. Yes. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, go here. Yes, okay, sit, go, oh. go, no, go, come on, are you kidding me? Okay, this is fine. I'm afraid to shift into second, because every time there's a little bit of a hill, I need first. <laughs> yeah, right? That's the thing. Hey, luckily, this thing doesn't over-rev, and it doesn't get, like, any over-rev damage. There we go, now I'm up to third. And I think this is, the finish line is up here. Oh. Uh, you just saw you plunge. <laughs> um... How's that finish line working out, bro? Uh, um, oh god. I oh god. Didn't quite make it to the finish line. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did I win? No. Did no, I no, I didn't win. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I think the, like the only logical um, thing left to do is to just play chicken with these things, you know? I think you are correct. <laughs> Dude, I can't get out of this dumb ditch. Okay, perfect. 766 meters to hopefully get enough speed to make this exciting. <laughs> I'm going, let's go. <laughs> uh... I think I'm in third gear. I think I'm not gaining speed. Butch, what have we done? Oh, World's here he, most here exciting game of chicken. Here, this, here he comes. This, this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> They're still going. Is your engine still working? It stalled. But, but like, yep. yeah, dude, like in terms of like reliability, these things are epic. They're sick. They're sick. Look, it's even doing a peeler. <laughs> Clearly a terrible vehicle in terms of like power and like torque and just general capability but i think very very well matched uh you know very well matched vehicle to engine well done sir yeah no, likewise I, I ended up in it ended up being a lot more fun than i thought it would be seriously yeah but uh you guys let us know if you want to see any more wacky challenges like this we obviously try to do some serious stuff uh but we also you know like doing goofy stuff like this I certainly enjoyed it. I did too. And uh, tell your grandma, you know. Yeah, I really need to up my uh, higher age demographic. That's right. So. Hey, listen, man. I'm sure there's a grandma out there that enjoys watching this kind of stuff. So you, you never know. You know, you never know, know. I'm sure there when is. you have a cool grandma. So show your grandma these videos and she might think we're stupid or she might really enjoy it. But in any case, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> have Bye. a good one. Peace.